What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can read from the title above, I will be teaching you how to catfish on Instagram. This is very controversial and I know a lot of guys hate to see girls without makeup because they think that it's catfishing because you look different. And honestly, when you're doing your makeup, do you, do you strive to, you know, look the same? If I'm doing a crazy ass makeup look, I'm not waking up like that. So obviously I'm doing my makeup to make myself look different, you know? I love the people that embrace themselves without makeup. If you want that natural look, then just go for that natural look. But me, bitch, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm trying to go full stunty cunty. I originally got this idea from Simply Nessa 15. I know she did a video on it and I loved it. I was like, girl, you better catfish them. Like, fuck it up, bitch. Like, I fucking love her. She's so funny. A lot of people don't like her. And I'm like, how could you not like that pretty ass face? Like, she's so pretty. And she has a great personality. If you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up button. And if you are new to my channel, subscribe. Like, like why don't you subscribe to me? Like, why don't you subscribe to me? I really want to know. Like, I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> I'm confused. You see my eyes. I'm confused. Click that bell to be notified when I post. Um, I think everybody should do that, even if you're a returning subscriber. Just click that bell so you guys know when I upload. Oh. Please follow me on Instagram, Snap, Twitter, and all that shit. It'll be in the links down below. But mainly follow my Instagram because that's where I'm most active at. So yeah, let's get right into this video. I'm going to show you how to catfish people on Instagram. I'm on without no makeup. Uh, we are transforming. Let's get on to catfishing. You definitely need to change your eye color because all the Instagram baddies have like gray, green, blue eyes. So I got my Desio contact lenses in the shade Caramel Brown. A lot of you guys asked in the last video what were the colors. It's Caramel Brown, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on it, but I will find it and I'll put it in the link below. I haven't put contacts on, on camera, so this should be interesting and scary, so. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Contacts are the weirdest feeling things in the world. But that one in and I'm gonna put the other one on, not on camera. That was a motherfucking struggle. I have a hard time putting on contacts. Comment down below if you are the same. And in bold cap and all, um, I'm showing you guys the real tea. This is how you catfish on Instagram. You gotta get a wig. You don't necessarily have to get a wig, but you might want extension. I do have real hair. Um, it's just braided up. Let's get right into the makeup. What I'm going to start on is my eyebrows because I do not have no eyebrows, as you guys can tell. I'm just going in with a black shade, as you guys know. It's just a regular black shade. And just like that, I got a new eyebrow. Since I'm done with my eyebrows, I concealed them and everything, I just put a base of concealer on my eyelids and all that so they can be prepped and primed for the eyeshadow. So for this Instagram catfish look, I'm going to be doing basically a cut crease but with like literally like two or three colors. It's kind of like easy. So I'm going to go in with the um, Anastasia Contour Kit. It's powder and I used the darkest shade. I used to use this in middle school when I just wanted to pop on something on my eye. So we're gonna go in with the darkest color in that contour kit and we're just gonna put it on your crease first because we're gonna cut that crease regardless. So now what we're going to be doing is going in with the Violet Voss um, Holy Grail Palette in the shade Teddy Bear and Brownie Points. We're just going to deepen that crease a little bit. And as you guys can see, there's a harsh ass line, so we're just gonna blend it up to diffuse it. We're not gonna use any product. We're just gonna be blending it up to diffuse that harsh ass line. So 
So now that we have the color on my eye, um, let me just drag that out a little bit more because I'm extra as fuck. But now that we have that color on our eye, we're going to deepen the crease a little bit more, but once we cut that crease. What we're gonna be using is a flat top brush like this, and we're gonna use a concealer that we use to conceal our brows and, you know, create that little cut crease type look. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? With my hooded eyes, honestly, you can't even see a color that I put in my lid, so we're going to kind of overlap that and make the crease way bigger. Now that we cut that crease, we're gonna set it because it gets sticky when you use concealer. So um, I'm just gonna use the shade Thinks a Latte in the Violet Boss palette and we're just gonna tap it on our finger and just set that. So now that we have that, we still need to deepen that crease because it got covered when you're putting it in your actual crease and I just concealed all the work that I just did. So we're gonna deepen that, but we're going to use a different brush. We're gonna be using one of these little thin brushes. I don't know what the fuck they're called. These are just brushes I get from online. You know, it's just like those cheap little fake brushes that they think they're gonna con you into, you know in that good set but then when they come in the mail they're shitty brushes but yeah we're just gonna deepen that crease because it looks like I don't have a cut crease on which <laughs> no point of having a cut crease if you ain't got no dark on girl So now that we darken the crease, as you guys can tell, it's a new crease. Right now I look fucking crazy, but it's gonna look good. Trust me, trust me, girl. Trust me, I'm a professional, bro. I'm a professional, bro. Now we're just gonna defuse that because I put a lot of dark shit on my eye. And it does not look like it on camera, but girl, in person, girl, 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 girl. So I'm gonna do the other side and then we'll get right back into what we're gonna do next. So now that we have both of the cut creases on my eyes, we're going to, so we're gonna top it off with Crystal and Plorf. I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna pop that on my lid. And this is a really good shade in general for like shimmer. It's kind of my favorite. I love them. And girl, oh my gosh. Y'all see that pop of color? This eye is just like, okay, I came to the party, but I'm only here for the food. And this eye is like, bitch, I came to dance. I came to shake my ass. I came to shake my cuckoo. And, you know, I'm trying to shake this cootie cat. We're going to get the cootie cat popping tonight. See the effect? Because before when I do my makeup, I don't have a crease. And you, can, you can't see, like, what's on my lid because my eye overlaps. But once you overdraw your um, crease and make a new one, you could see the color and that's a trick for me to you guys y'all should definitely try it if you guys have hooded eyes now that we're done with our eye makeup we're gonna start foundation we're going to go in with the born this way foundation obviously and we're going to mix it with the revlon this is l'oreal i'm a mess but we're gonna mix it with the l'oreal paris infallible pro glow y'all know how to put on foundation like i said I'm going to speed this process up because you guys should know how to put on foundation. I actually like the people who actually post pictures with their skin and everything, like flaws and all, like I love that. I recently just posted a picture without makeup, which was kind of crazy, but I, I actually liked it and I felt great about myself afterwards. So, um, yeah. 
Just have to put that out there. And with my foundation, I'm just gonna go in with the handy dandy Revlon, Revlon girl, Color Stay Concealer. Ricky Dillon is literally tweeting right now and I have his post notifications on, so thanks Ricky for interrupting my video. The lighter concealer under my eyes. I'm going to be using the Born This Way that I used to conceal my brows. And we're just going to lighten that up a little bit more because I like that look. And I don't know. It just gives me a good finish. And it it helps me not contour as much. That, that's just me. So I just use this to brighten it up. Brighten that shit up, girl. Brighten it up, girl. Yeah, brighten it up, girl. Yeah, yeah, give me that shit, girl. Give me that shit, girl. Pop that shit and go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I am definitely kidding. If you guys are probably like, oh my god, this bitch is crazy. Now we're going to set it with handy dandy motherfucking Aerosmith powder. But, um, yeah, I actually started using the puff that they give it to you with. I never typically use it because I was like, this is pointless. I'm just going to use a beauty blender, but it actually works. And one, two, oh my god. <sighs> I'm just gonna pat that all over my face. I learned that from Patrick Starr that you just pat that shit all over your face, girl. So now that we look like James Charles, um, I'm kidding, I fucking love James Charles, but that was a scandal. And whoever edited that picture, girl, you wrong for that because I saw the original picture. It was not that much ghost face and I call it ghost face, but it wasn't that bad. Now we're just gonna take the little brush and just wipe it off. I do not like to bake that much anymore. I just like putting it on and swiping it off just so I can lock in my foundation and lock in all those liquids that were on my face. That don't sound right, lock in all those liquids. But yeah, I just wipe it all off. Just gonna go back in with the Anastasia contour kit, the powder contour kit, and just warm up my face. So of course my camera would die while I'm filming because I'm such a pro YouTuber, but I popped on some lashes and yeah. Um, I was just like, I'm not gonna do eyeliner for this. I was like, you know what? Let me just keep it simple and just pop on a lash. And that acts upon an eyeliner and it, I think it fits perfect with what I'm doing. So um, now we're gonna go on to highlighting my face using Kim Kardashian highlighter that broke. It's actually my favorite and I have a little wet brush and I'm just gonna be popping that on my cheeks. definitely forgot about my lip filler like every catfish has to have some lip filler you know I'm using Marc Jacobs in the shade J'adore um, this used to be my holy grail lip color like literally it's out so I use a little brush to do my lips Now we're just going to pop on the wig. I do have actual hair, don't clock me in the comments. I use Got To Be Glued to glue on my hair. I like to put it around my hairline, and I put a lot, so. If you want your wigs to stay, this is what you gotta do, girl. Like, girls that just 
wear wigs without gluing them on or having like adjustable straps and you can see the lace like lifting like it's just not cute girl like get some glue and glue that shit on So this is my wig, um, I made it myself. It is, um, I think five bundles with a frontal and look at that hairline, like, ugh. I didn't even have to pluck it. Like, it's 30 inches, very, very long, and it moves like crazy. But yeah, if you guys wanna know how to make a wig, I will definitely do that. And I'll put the link to the hair in the description box below. If you wanna know all about the hair and how I made it and the company it's from, um, let me know in the comments down below and I will be doing a review on this unit let me feel if it's tacky so yeah it is tacky now so what we're gonna do we're gonna be flopping the wig back big from ear to ear and we're gonna make sure that parts right in the middle girl because you don't want to get clocked with a sidebar girl like come on and this is like the and you just hold it like <laughs> i'm just you know running my mouth but yeah just hold the lace on each side of the glue make sure you have the glue set and untapped because you don't want to look like a fool and then your wig comes off or your lace is lifting because that's not cute so I just hold it like this for like a good 30 seconds and then it's glued on So the wig is on and now um, it's glued and set and it's not going anywhere. I actually love my makeup, but I'm feeling the hair. I'm feeling the hair like a lot. Like I'm really scentsy, cunty. But yeah, I think that this completes the look. Um, I had fun doing this makeup look. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it truly does mean a lot. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe down below. And follow all my social media links and um, tell me how you catfish on Instagram because this is how I catfish on Instagram. So... <laughs> I love you guys so much. Peace, love, and dildos.